Hello there. Here we have a return to form. This is some packaging. I'm getting rid of the packaging and I wanted to sort of video the packaging so that I've kind of made this sort of record of it so that it's not lost to the ages. Um, so this is, um, this says dual band USB adapter, I think. Oh, let me frame that properly. Uh, the actual brand is written on the retailer sticker. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Um, I'm not sure. Xclio, I guess? No, that was easier than I thought. Um, but yes, so this is a USB Wi-Fi adapter. Um, it comes with a 5 dBi antenna, so that's um, the gain in decibels. Um, this is it. It's quite big. The antenna actually screws on to a standard um, RPSMA, that's reverse polarity, whatever SMA stands for. Um, but it's, it's the standard sort of antenna screw. Um, so there's the actual device. We're not interested in that, we're interested in the packaging. So we have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So those are two different um, frequencies or you know general vicinities of frequencies. Um, USB 3.0. So um, we can see down here it's claiming 1200 um, megabits per second. So USB 2.0 would be 480 megabits per second before the overhead, which is significant on USB. So it needs that USB 3.0 to actually be able to deliver those speeds, even in theory. And here, IEEE 802.11ac, so that's the wireless AC standard, which it meets. Uh, now, the thing that I find really interesting on this packaging, and yes, there is such a thing, is that it says Wi-Fi 5 down here. Now. The newer standard, which is 802.11ax, um, is generally branded as Wi-Fi 6, just because they want to move away from these, you know, monstrous numbers to, you know, something a bit friendlier. But this is interesting because they didn't do that when wireless AC was a, was sort of the latest thing. So this saying Wi-Fi 5 is perhaps a little bit on the unusual side, and it shows that this was actually made and sold in the wireless AX, the Wi-Fi 6 era, because it's saying Wi-Fi 5, it's using the new the new terminology for the old thing. So I think that's kind of cool. So on the back of this we have some general specs. So here it's sort of admitting, okay, actually um, it's saying it's 1200 megabits per second, but that's rounding up, and it's rounding up from, you know, adding up what it can do on the different bands. Um, so it's a little bit question questionable. We have our WPS support here. So WPS is a system which using cryptography uh, means that you can just push a button on the router and a button on the thing and they magically connect themselves. I do not trust it as far as I can throw it. I don't use WPS just because I, I don't see how that could possibly be secure. Um, you know, what if someone else is pressing their button at the same time? How could you possibly know it's the right thing with the right button being pressed? So here we have all the standards. So this actually goes back to 802.11b, which is pretty old. There is an 802.11a as well. Because um, if you think that's Wi-Fi 5, that would be 4, 3, and then 2 for 802.11b. So 802.11a would be Wi-Fi 1. I think... I think it was either B or A was actually already on 5 gigahertz. I don't remember which. So there we have our more precise frequency ranges. Um, we have our more specific data rate claims. Um, and the, the channel numbers which relate to the frequency ranges. Now, I'll be honest, I don't um, pretend to actually fully understand these things. So I'm more just panning over the packaging. Now, operating system. Um, it does claim support for Linux. I bought it because of that. Um, because I recently bought a new motherboard for a Linux-based system that had built-in Wi-Fi. But the Linux-based system is running Debian and the drivers are really old. So the newer built-in Wi-Fi um, doesn't have drivers back that old for the older Linux kernel. This um, is based on a Realtek chipset. I don't remember which, I'm sorry. Um, but it was possible to get it working. Um, you can use LS USB to find relevant information. And then I'm sorry to send you to Google, but you can Google that information. Um, so the packaging itself, we just have this, you know, plastic, non-recyclable 
uh, shell and then this cardboard recyclable backing and inside that we have a little driver disc uh, which actually asks you to um, in install the driver before plugging it in I suppose which is interesting but you know so that's about that not a whole lot to it but I thought the Wi-Fi 5 thing was interesting and um, yeah I mean this does work pretty well for something fairly cheap so I guess if you're looking for an opinion it's it's fine thumbs up um, but yeah as always if for some reason you're watching this I hope you found it useful cheers